Hey you guys, a long time no see. It's been like a month since my last video and uh, you know, I keep thinking it's cute to make this joke where basically like I call attention to the fact that I'm lazy with making videos but the joke kind of runs dry because like it never ends. I thought we could do a chit chat get ready with me because I haven't talked to you guys in a while and I've been up to a lot of different stuff. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it. So I've mixed three different foundations on my little palette here and um, I'll put them down in the description bar. I mean, will I? Yeah, yeah, I will. I'll put them down in the description bar. Uh, so, you know, if you guys feel like picking up three different foundations, you can. I already have a little bit of leftover foundation on because I went for breakfast this morning. Um, my skin is doing like just crazy amounts better than it's been. I mean, you guys know I've been bitching about my skin nonstop for the past few months. Um, I've just been having problems with it. And I told you guys on Periscope that I've been seeing Cam at Medispa. Um, so I've been doing all different kinds of like laser and different stuff like that on my face. And then I also have been using this skincare line that she recommends and uses. Um, and it's, I, I, I honestly can't believe the difference it's made in my skin. Um, I just was having the worst time and it just seemed like everything that I was doing just kind of didn't seem to help. Um, and I just was really struggling with it for a while. So I'm glad, I feel like it's finally kind of coming to an end. So I'm like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Thank God. Anyways, I'm just applying another little quick layer of that foundation and then we will move on. I'm just gonna apply a little touch of concealer under my eyeballs and this is the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair? Yeah. I'm gonna use this little Sonia Kashuk 116 brush to blend it out. I'm trying to uh, slowly get rid of my my, my chiseler, my cheeseler my cheeseler brush. It's really getting to the end of the wire. <laughs> like it's really, really just falling apart. So I'm trying to like slowly find alternatives to it. What else has been going on? Um, I was in Dubai. I am gonna leave that there. Uh, and then I went to Toronto after and I got to develop and work on my own lipstick with MAC. So if you guys didn't hear about that, I'm super excited. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video about it um, later on, closer to the launch date, um, but we can expect it around April. Um, I'm not supposed to talk about, you know, what shade it is yet. I wear such a range of lipstick colors that like I know that you guys are just gonna be questioning it constantly sort of thing, so it's just like, like nobody can even guess, like nobody can like put their finger on it and that's what's kind of fun about it, you know what I mean? Like it's just like everyone's like, I wonder what Sam's gonna do, like there's no point in even guessing because you know, it's like we would just never, I, like she's just such a mixed bag. So I can't talk about the color, um, but I'm really excited, it's really cool. I can't wait to tell you guys more about it and just kind of talk a little bit about my whole journey with it and all that kind of stuff and um, yeah. That's going on. I'm just gonna put a little bit of eye primer on. I'm using MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. I'm getting to the bottom of the barrel here. So I'm just gonna put a thin layer of that all over my, my eyeball. Um, and then after Toronto and Dubai, I was home for like two days or three days or something like that. Um, and I went to Japan. I went to Japan for 10 days and it was really cool. It was literally just a vacation, um, which I haven't really gotten to go on something that was just strictly, you know, vacation with no work um, in, in a, quite a while. So it was really, really fun. Um, started talking to this boy. He won't leave me alone. Followed me to Japan. It's like this thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's like just so frustrating. I'm just really trying to kick into the curb. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on that front. Japan was one of the coolest places I've ever visited in my life. Everybody there was just like so spectacularly wonderful. Like they just really made the language barrier super easy on you. And their whole culture, like everyone just works so hard. It's like unbelievable, can't relate. I'm gonna apply this as just kind of a skin tone shadow over top of my eye primer. But yeah, everyone just takes their job so seriously and they just like really work so hard and they have processes for everything to just make everything easier and simpler for everyone. And it just, it was just really, really cool. Their entire culture is just so interesting and there's just so much history there and they just take so much pride in what they do. And it was just really, really interesting to see. So um, I was really grateful to get to go on that trip. On Saturday, I'm going to Mexico, uh, which is also just a vacation, which is nice. Um, my parents are having their 30th wedding anniversary. So the whole family is just going out there and uh, we're gonna be celebrating. So me and my brothers, my mom, my dad, uh, we're gonna be in Mexico, uh, living the life. So I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm gonna jump into eyes. 
so yeah, I'll probably be able to chat less during that time. Let's do this. Okay, so there was two different looks that I was kind of inspired by that made me want to do the look that I'm going to do. Um, the first one is this look here by Lee Dixon. And then I also wanted to kind of incorporate some of this look here. This is by a girl named Kaylee that I follow on uh, Twitter and their stuff will be linked below. All right, so I'm gonna grab my good old uh, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm gonna put that going from my inner corner and then all over the lid. You don't have to worry about getting that perfectly smooth or anything because we're just gonna blend it away. So I'm taking a cleanish brush. I'm just gonna take that brush and basically blend it out so there's no harsh edges. So I'm gonna be working for my Sugar Pill Pro Palette. Um, this is the new one and I'm gonna be grabbing this yellow color right here. I'm gonna be taking that on my little bitty brush from a company called Volaire and I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that on to my inner corner and kind of like a third of the way onto my lid, but maybe a little bit more, just so you have room to blend. Yellow can be a little bit of a finicky color. Sometimes it applies sort of patchy, so it's best to just tap it on instead of trying to swipe it. I'm also gonna every once in a while just dip my fluffy brush into some white eyeshadow and basically just blend over top of that to make it a little bit more pastel. And it also hides any patchiness that might be taking place. Fun trick. All right, then I'm gonna grab this lighter lime green color and I'm gonna be taking a new brush for that, just kind of a flat shader brush. I'm going to press it onto the center of the lid. And then when I have a little bit less product on my brush, I can start to press towards the inner corner and the outer corner, which will actually just help to blend our shadows without really having to do anything. And then if you need to, you can go back with your first brush and bring that yellow over a little bit further and I just keep kind of alternating between my two brushes and that's how I blend them. Sometimes if you're using a third brush for blending, like a clean fluffy brush for instance, you might end up blending away all your color, which can be really frustrating. Um, sometimes people struggle with that when they're applying you know, more colorful bright shadows or pastels especially. I know everyone's playing around with the Kat Von D pastel palette. So if that's something that you've been struggling with, just try and use a different brush for every color um, and then don't bother going in with a new brush to blend out, um, just, you know, skip back and forth between these two brushes. Then I'm gonna take my little Smith 253 brush and I'm going to dip into this teal color right here and I'm just going to pat that onto the outer corner. Picking my green brush back up, going to blend those a little bit. I'm gonna use the center coral color here to blend into my crease. This is a blush that I picked up in Japan. It's from a brand called Can Make uh, and it's in shade three. And I'm just picking that up on my Smith 230 brush and I'm going to blend into the crease with it. Okay, I'm gonna start doing my winged eyeliner and I'm gonna be using my Tarte Clay Pot Liner in black. I'm just using my Smith 205 um, angle brush and I'm going to go right up for my bottom lash line. Just sketching out my first line and then I'm going to drag down from that point and start to make the rough shape of our wing. Our wing, we're in this together. Okay, once we have that kind of rough sketch done, I'm gonna go ahead and go over with my Kat Von D tattoo liner. So just going over top and making that nice and smooth. Clean, crisp, majestic. Making it somewhat matched to either side is always a pretty good idea if you have the time and patience. And then I'm just gonna go and make a little line right between these two colors. Kinda like my last video. I'm gonna put my eyelashes on and see if my eyeliner matches. That's like the easiest way for me to tell. BRB. Okay, I put my lashes on. I think my eyeliner matches pretty okay. I'm just gonna apply a quick coat of mascara. Let's work on the bottom of our eyeballs. I'm gonna take some more of that little teal color. Actually, I'm gonna take some NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil first. Just a, just a touch, just, just a little bit. And I'm gonna blend that out with my talon. Um, and then I'm gonna take this little Hakuhoto brush. I don't know what number it is, but it's really nice. And I'm going to 
apply a little bit of that color underneath my eyeballs. And then I'm gonna take some of this green color right here, and I'm also gonna blend it with a little bit of the lighter green. On this little bitty Hakuhodo brush, I don't know the number of this one either because it's not on it, um, but it looks like one of those little pointed Q-tips. It's so nice. Uh, I'm gonna put that under my lower lash line on the other corner. And then I'm just gonna take a light dusting of that light green shadow and kind of go over top and blend it out a little bit. I'm gonna paint on just a little heart Have fun trying to get those to match up, fuckers. So I took some little bottom lashes from Coco Lashes in the style 302, uh, but they weren't going on my eyeball nicely, so I decided to chop them up into little bitty pieces. And um, I'm just putting them on my eye now. If you're ever struggling with lashes, top or bottom, I think it's so much easier to just cut them up because you can make them fit to your eye a little bit better and sometimes they just feel a little bit uncomfortable to wear and um, you know we all want to look glamorous at the office so this is my uh, my little trick for that and then I'm gonna let those dry completely and I'm going to apply a coat of mascara and um, I'll show you guys the finished look but I think you can get the gist of it so this is the final look and that's it for me man so that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something cool today. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below, and I will get back to you. All right, guys. Peace out.